Got it. Let's keep going. Okay. <clears throat> abortion. Abortion is the deliberate termination of a human pregnancy most often performed during the first 28 weeks of pregnancy. Our stance on this issue is that abortion is a right and minors should be able to make decisions without notifying or consenting a parent or guardian. Otherwise, like that's the main law of today. Uh, the affirmative states that parents would be saving their children's lives. However, it is exaggerated and inaccurate. Um, when when you talk about abortion, most people think about just surgical procedures, such as the affirmative. However, there are a variety of safer methods of abortions. The first method is a medical abortion, which is performed by taking two med medication pills, and you can use this until the 10th week of pregnancy. The second one is methorexate, which is a cancer drug. Just as it stops cancer cells from multiplying, it stops cells in the embryo from multiplying. And a third one is dilation and evacuation, which otherwise known as DNE, which is recommended for those who get who's delayed getting an abortion. Um, that's, the actual risk and complication numbers are actually low. Um, in, most in the most comprehensive look yet at the safety of abortion, researchers at UC San Francisco have concluded that major complications occur rarely and occur less than a quarter of a percent of the time. Um, Cara, Laura Kurtzman, who is a um, UC San Francisco researcher, states that of the 54,911 abortions studied, just 126 cases involved ma major complications. Um, with these researchers um, defined as conditions that required hospital admission, surgery, or a blood transfusion. In all, a little less than 2% of the abortions, or 1,030 cases, resulted in minor complications in the six week following the procedure. And um, Planned Parenthoods provide, also provide counseling after procedures for women's um, mental health. And overall, to say that um, the parents will save the minor's life is an overstatement and does not coincide with statistical results. Uh, the affirmative also states that parents will help guide the minor. However, that is not always an option to many teens. Um, Martin Don Donahoe is a senior physician who states that 50% of pregnant teens have experienced violence, 30% of teens who do not tell their parents about their abortions are fear, um, feared violence or being, or being forced to leave home. Also, these minors who do not wish to involve a parent often cited fear of negative parental reactions, lack of fragile relationships with the parents, and a desire to avoid <coughs> parental pressure in the decision making process. Um, for those parents, if this law was to succeed, um, parents who do not approve this um, the team of minors will still be able to get an abortion by judicial bypass. However, judicial bypass makes it ten times harder to get an abortion. Uh, parental involvement laws have also disproportionately affect young women of color, who are more likely to experience unintended pregnancy as minors and are disproportionately living in states who, where parental involvement laws are in effect. Um, Cost K, who is also a um, director of domestic research, says that Planned Parenthood um, and other clinics provide counseling that can be utilized by the patient and will always have a person for guidance. Um, minors need parental permission for many things, but having a child is life-changing and the best source of decision should be from the mother. Having a child is a start of the chapter in life. There are many actions as a teenage mother that they cannot do physically and financially. Um, according to Mental Health Line, uh, the teenage mothers are more likely to fall in demographic categories that make risk of mental illness higher. These risks include having parents with low education, a history of child abuse, limited social networks, living in chaotic and unstable homes and environments, and also living in low-income communities. According to a study published by the American Journal of Epidemiology, teenage parents often don't complete high, um, complete higher levels of education. They often have more restrictions and economic opportunities that older, than older parents. Around one half of teen moms have their high school diploma by age 22, and only 10% are able to get a two year, two year to four year degree. Um, in addition to these factors, many teenage, teenage mothers are, are more likely to experience significant levels of stress that can increase the risk for mental health disorders. Overall, comparing a typical field trip consent form and the usual trip to the doctor to an abortion process is far-fetched. Those events are short-term, however, being a mother is life-changing. And should be the, and should best be the decision of the birth giver and not the parents. Thank you.